Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Denizen once again. It is a beautiful day here in Cutler, and we're going to look into a world of criminal activity to make more money than we have been making at the pizza shop for the most part. So, uh, yeah, we know about the retail. It always pops that up and says, hey, did you know about this? Uh, there's a pawn store there, uh, but we need to come down here to the right. There's a medical clinic. Haven't been in there yet, but right here, Austin. Remember, Austin is the one who sent us the text message about, hey, I heard you're looking for some extra work. Stop by my place in Cutler when you have a minute. And I'll give you the details. So this is where Austin is, and that's who we're going to go talk to today to try to make more money. Well, hopefully y'all had a great weekend and uh, you're ready for the week ahead, man. It has been absolutely cold here. Can't get in that door, but uh, it's been really, really cold here. Uh, and I'm sure it's been really cold where you guys are as well, uh, especially if you live up north. So here's Austin. Let's talk to him. Glad to see you. I've got some work for you if you're interested. Okay. Uh, maybe what do you need help with? How did you get my phone number anyway? Sure. What can I do for you? No, I'm busy right now. Yeah. Um, well, we, we already know that. I, I think they're friends that we, they met at a party or something. So we'll just say, what can I do for you? And all right, listen up. One of our clients got ripped off bad by a local distribution company. Poster distribution is the target. The target? What do you want me to do that, to them? No violence. Our client requested some sensitive data from the corrupt owner. Find a way into their warehouse and get to the office computer. Okay, isn't that illegal though? The offer's on the table. If you're not interested, no problem. If you are interested, you can come back here for your payment when the job is complete. Fair enough. Anything else I should know? Your best bet is to break into the rear loading entrance. A local pawn shop sells lockpicks for cheap. Okay, break into the rear entrance of the warehouse and download the data from the manager's computer. Got it. That's right. Make sure to come back and see me when the job's done. Okay, agenda item added. So, shady characters. Uh, you can't jump in this game either. Uh, there is no... Uh, no parkour that can be uh, taking place. All right, so before uh, the night falls upon us here, we're going to come down here to the pawn shop. We have $97 to our name uh, after, you know, some living expenses. Um, let's talk to them. Oh, here's the store. So you have a lot of stuff you can buy, actually, which is really cool. There's a lot of options here. Apparel, you can buy new furniture for your house. So this is where you go to buy new stuff. Um, hardware, you can get new floors, electronics. Uh, and the miscellaneous is lockpick. That's what we want. Now, I know from experience that uh, on my live stream when I was playing this, that I have to uh, buy a few of these because it's kind of a pain in the butt to break in to the uh, locks. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. All right, so hoser distribution's right there. Freight entrance and rear. This is where we need to go. That's what he wants us to do. Um, so we're going to come down here and do that. Loading area's right there and authorized personnel only no trespassing okay cool so yeah here's the little mini game and this picking locks can be a little bit of a pain in the butt it's a kind of like time it just right before it's the last one we got it on that one there we go i've had a little bit of practice <laughs> uh and uh, yeah no i did a live stream uh getting some money and then i realized i had screwed up so i had to start over again uh forklifts can be used to move pallet cargo Use up to raise. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. So up and down. We need to get back into that room and we're going to have to move some things out of the way to do it. And in fact, we're going to have to drive the forklift to do that. And I got to say, one thing I don't like is the camera views when you drive the truck, one, but two, when you drive in the forklift, it's like really, really bad. And you can't adjust it. You can change the FOV of, um, you know the game in the options but that's really only for whenever you're playing first person back up and we'll put this back here actually i used to drive a forklift if you didn't know that we've talked about that in previous videos when i'm playing like a forklift simulator so this is nothing new to us all right we'll put this down right here i think oh whoa yeah that is uh a problem that's a bug and if I get off, I think I can maybe get back on it and fix it. Will that happen or no? We go down. It's just broken. Yeah, it's no no good. All right, so let's get the other forklift, shall we? Um, and <laughs> hopefully we'll have a better luck with this one. We really only need one more remove so we can get back there. So let's go ahead and just move this guy out of the way. And if it gets broken, then so be it, you know? But I'm just going to keep it on the forklift itself. And we'll give this a shot. There we go. 
yeah now we can get back here and now we get introduced to the mini game that took me forever to figure out when i was playing it on the stream um and it is this terminal thing you have to basically link this to this with this uh and you have to use pretty much all of it in order to do it which it's kind of a pain in the butt to do um so that is where it stands if you can get it to do its thing right i think it has to go down that way like this this uh to that and we're gonna run out of time it's gonna be like you failed yeah, but you can try again so it's not the end of the world it's not like they call access the police denied. on you they just say access denied and then you start all over again until you get it right which uh it's a lot more difficult than it looks that's for certain We're slowly but surely getting there now. I had to do this to that to that to that. Yep. Access got granted. it. Yep. Got it. All right. Cool. Uh, lights enabled, disabled, doors unavailable, uh, sword files. We need to download those for Austin. So let's go ahead and download those. I think that's all we needed to do. So let's get the heck on out of here before anybody knows we were here, which I mean, of course, they're going to know we were here. <laughs> How would, how would they not? And we did it at night, so that's uh, also helpful. But let's go back and talk to Austin so we can get a payment and see if it was worth it. I got your files, buddy. Nice work. Here's your payment. Ooh, $332. We made some money off that. Come see me again when you're ready for another job. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. We're hungry. We're not really thirsty when you go to the bathroom, but I want to show you the bar that is across the street from the city station or the city pizza, it's called the station. There you go. Just jumble those together. Uh, and it's a pretty bustling place. I'm assuming this is where everything took place originally uh, when they talk about, you know, in the messages with Jay last night uh, and then with Austin saying, looking, you know, somebody looking for work, things like that. So uh, probably here's where it happened. Now you can play blackjack if you would like to uh, bet some money. Let's go ahead and go bet, deal it out. And then they go, here you go. And then you can uh, stand or, well, we lost, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but uh, you can bet all you want there. Pretty cool. We won 10 bucks there. Nice. If, you, if you're into gambling, you can do it right there at the blackjack table. You can come over here. We can have ourselves a beer. Wonderful. Well, he really was drinking that for a while, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. And, and it, you get fuzzy when you have beer, which is kind of cool. It's loud in here. Loud. Can we go to the bathroom? Yes, we can. Just leave the door open. Why not? You know, because <laughs> that's what you do whenever you go to the, you know, the bathroom at a, at a bar. Just wash up. We're not heathens. Uh, and we will head back to our place. So you can't talk to any of the NPCs on the sidewalk, sadly. And we'll get, we already walked our buzz off on the way back. Uh, I haven't been to the medical clinic. We'll have to check that out soon enough. But we need to go home. Uh, need to eat some food, go to sleep, start our next day, go back to Austin and do some more criminal work because that's where the money is. Honestly, look at that. We're already at 329 and we even just, uh, had a beer. All right. We are home indeed. Close the door there. And, uh, looking here, you do have utilities and, uh, right here currently it's 855 and look, energy used costs, all that stuff and water, electricity and water. I'm wondering if we um, we pay attention to that and use the lights and, and, and stuff when necessary. We'll save money doing that. I, I don't know if that's the case, but probably. All right, Oriental Chicken. We'll take that out in our inventory. We'll pop it in the microwave right here. There we go. Six, five, four. We are hungry. Well, we're about half on the, the meter. There we go. It's done. Once it's done, it goes to your inventory and then you can just use it right there. That's how you do it. Um, let's see. If we put something else in the, in the microwave. Can we put this in the microwave? Oh, you can. Oh my God. <laughs> For science. Is it raining out? It's a storms out. Oh, there's okay. There's weather out there. That's cool. So it turns out you can uh, microwave the body spray and <laughs> destroy, almost catch everything on your in your house on fire. That's 
That's great. We had to do it for science. I love the uh, addition of that. That's cool. Okay, cool. I think we should be good. We can go to sleep here. Let's just get up in the morning. Uh, no. Well, two? Really? That's all you can do till? That's not enough time. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go ahead and... S no, let's return here. It'll save the game. But we're not done. Okay. So maybe we can do some more stuff. Uh, what time is it right now? Yeah, it's 11. Let's just kind of do some uh, housekeeping things. Take a shower. And uh, we'll get ready for bed. And then we got a whole other day ahead of us. You know what? We need to go get some more supplies. So I think we're going to run to the gas station and get some food and things like that. Now, my guy is not tired yet. Here's the rain. And I want to kind of see the effects. Oh, I like the lightning and the thunder. That's cool. Let's get in our truck. And we're going to head to the gas station, which is this way, actually. There's a big pothole in the road. Watch out, lady. Crossing the street. Good way to get hit. We know that. All right, we just take this road down to the end, and the gas station should be on the right. And if you look at the phone, uh, we can go to the map here, and you can see us going on the road right there. Oh, hello. Zoom out a little bit here, and you can see right up here on the right. The gas station's up here. There it is right there. Yep. That's the gas station we're going to. Pump. 175. And we'll park over here. And we'll go get some get some goodies. This is kind of like your lifeline. That's good enough. We'll just park right there. Um, your lifeline of getting supplies. There's no grocery store. You just have pump. All right. Let's go over here. So they have beef cream and they have spring water and uh coffee and you can you have a microwave there so you can make food right here inside the building and we have that and then sigs we're not going to get sigs but uh go to the store and here's all the options they have sushi they have italian pasta oriental chicken and german sausage let's get a little bit of these uh, a couple of these we have money now and uh that should be good i have averages we can get some of these these give you um thirst and hunger since it's like a protein shake for the most part. So there's that option. Uh, then we have beer. You get thirst and negative five on the bladder. Uh, so that's just for thirst. And you get less thirst for the beer than you do for the soda. Soda gives you a plus 20. So you get some grape sodies, a couple orange sodies, and that's pretty much good to go. Oh, we get a lottery ticket just for good measure. Let's get this one. Uh, summer vacation. It's all, I get, they're all the same. They're all five bucks. That's good enough there. And uh, awesome. And let's do what they, people do in the real world. Just do it right here. Why not? In line. And we lost money on that. Cool. All right. Well, bye-bye. See ya. Let's head back out. So, yeah, driving over time will get your car dirty and you have to use the car wash. That's what they were advertising there for us. Let's head back to the house and put our food away. And then we can get ready for our work day tomorrow. Let's get behind this guy. Now, there is a uh, used car dealership as well, or a car dealership, and you can buy cars. So there is a reason to have money. And over a course of time, I'm sure that they'll add more cars and more things to do in the city and the map when the game, uh, you know, comes out. All right, we have made it back home. It's still raining like crazy out, too. Holy moly, dude. Crazy, crazy. How you doing? All right, let's head back home. All right, we are home. Let's put our stuff away that we don't need. Refrigerator. We put these, I guess, in the fridge. And we put these in the fridge. Uh, Sodies can go in this, the fridge as well. And all is well. Another thing I did is I uh, wanted to restart everything because I got rid of the green. I think it looks much better with a, a, a neutral wall, especially whenever I start buying some more furniture. I don't want to have to, like, go the green aesthetic or eggshell, whatever they called it. Um, wasn't, wasn't really for me. So there's that. Uh, let's have a drink of water and we'll get ready for bed. We'll do a drink. We'll go to, we'll go to the bathroom and then we'll go to sleep. That's what we're going to do. Go to the bathroom, buddy. And then we'll go to sleep and we'll change clothes. We'll change clothes as well. Dress. Uh, we'll get in that for tomorrow. Yeah. I'm still going to keep the, 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 hoodie, the beanie on <laughs> for now. All right. Sleep. 
until yeah there we go seven in the morning awesome it's another day in cutler look at that building you can see the multiple levels in there um let's go ahead and uh we're good to go i think we just take a shower and and go to work well we're gonna try something different we're gonna try to make some money uh first but Let's do a little more exploring, shall we? Now, let's take the elevator today. We'll wait for the elevator this morning. And what is it going to be like? 27 degrees. Oh, it's supposed to be thunderstorms. Maybe later on it'll be thunderstorms. So, I don't know. And there we are. It looked like it was nice outside. Is it going to... Oh, it's storming again. Oh, man. It's going to be another crappy day, it looks like. Well, let's look at the weather. What's the weather supposed to be like? Uh, they don't have a forecast. It's just what it is now. Okay. Oh, good to know. Now, you have these houses all over the place, and check it out. You can actually purchase these properties. Um, see, it says use phone to purchase property, but we have 17 Mountain Spring Road here. And if you go to the properties, here it is right here. That road, yeah, $128,000 for that one. And look all the way down to 504 Shore Drive Meadowbrook, 2.95 mill absolutely crazy we own the first one which is only eighteen thousand dollars all right let's head up here to uh let's turn our lights on up the road here see what else we have we have a dirt road here we can take and there's another property back here for sale as well and i think this road from what i remember from the stream takes you to another road you make a left if you go right, there's like a lake there and stuff. But if we go left, there's a campsite I'll show you. Is it this one? I think it is this one. Cool. All right, let's kill the lights since it's daytime. I think the rain's going to maybe move out. Maybe, just maybe, move on out. Yep, here it is right here. Check it out. I don't know what that is. I guess that's like a bridge. But it's just, it's just the reflection of the bridge in the distance. But check it out. We got some kayaks. You can't use. We got a fire here. I don't think you can sit in the chair, sadly. You can't get in the tents. It's just all here for show. And none of this stuff you can interact with. So here's the campsite. Interestingly enough. Whoa. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to go ahead and uh, we'll take a pizza job today. Uh, we'll take that one, the 11 o'clock one, because these are not even available to us yet. I know I'm rolling back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll go work at the pizza shop, and then we'll take another job from Austin. I work at 11 o'clock. It's 1014 now. We're going to be a little early to work, but that's okay. I can show you the used auto shop. Whoop. There we go. Just park across the street. It's right over here. And I'll show you the cars that are available to buy in the demo. All right. So check this out. I would love to get this Trans Am. I think that thing is awesome. Um, so you can go to the store here and here's the options. You have this car and you can get in different colors and stuff, but it's uh, 17 five. Then we have the, uh, the van that we talked about last time, 12 five for that. Uh, then we have a Jeep in different colors as well. Uh, 25, we have a CRX. And you have that. So those are the only cars that you can see here so far, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, it's funny they have their. You have the bathroom you can use in here. Uh, all these buildings seem to have that, and they all have a microwave. Oh, there's a license plate. So you have to make a uh, license plate for your car as well, I guess. Once you buy it, well, they're just staring me down, aren't they? Whoa, that's weird. How you doing? Oh, you can talk. You can go to the store there too. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, what time is it? Oh, we need to go to work. We need to go to work. No more messing around. Let's go ahead and do our thing. I'm not gonna make you sit through here. Uh, we're just gonna work here for the first shift and then we'll talk to Austin afterwards. Classic pizza first. We got the barbecue chicken pizza unlocked now. So you just do uh, barbecue sauce, mozzarella, put some mushroom chicken on that, and then onion as well, tomato, and then green pepper. 
goes on that one. So we have upgraded that and we got a raise today, which is really cool as well. A few more seconds remaining in our shift here as we come to an end of the day and we'll go back and talk to Austin and see what he wants us to do next. So we have 12 seconds there. Uh, we don't have enough to make this pizza, but we can go ahead and start it. Not a big deal. So special sauce, mozzarella, and then pepperoni. Makes you hungry every time you make this, I swear. <laughs> every time you're over here making pizzas, you're going to get hungry. It's just going to happen. So we're four. Yeah. So three, two, one. It'll be over before you know it. So that and sausage. And throw it on there and then it'll be the end of the day, which you just did. So there you go. And I clicked right when I missed what I made, but we made some money. Regardless, it is still raining out today as well, man. You can't get around the rain. I, I guess it's just going to do it all day long for the most part. Let's go see what Austin wants here. Good to see you again. I've got another job for you if you're interested. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of work. Sure. What can I do for you? Yeah, we'll, we'll just be a yes man. We've got a client that has had some of their assets swiped a few nights ago. We already know where the cargo is being held and it needs to be recovered without delay. Okay, what else? The trailer is being held at the building just outside of town on the main road. Find a way into the holding area and get the doors open so you can pick up the load. No problem. I think I can handle that. Anything else I need to know? You'll need to haul the cargo away. So make sure to bring a truck for the job. Deliver the cargo to the loading zone behind my building. Oh, and move swiftly. If the cargo is left alone for too long, it could go missing again. Okay, find a way to the building just outside of town on the main road. Pick up the cargo and bring it back here. Yep, you got it. You make sure to leave the trailer behind my building. Come back to see me for your payment when the work is done. Okay, agenda item added. So we need to do that now. Um, it's still raining. What time is it now? 1538. Let's go take a nap. Maybe this rain will be moved out by the time we, uh, you know, do that. Well, we'll just head back to our truck first. Well, I did notice that the energy does not go down if you climb the stairs. That'd be kind of cool if they added that, you know? All right, what do we got here? Let's have some... We don't have sushi. We just eat. We don't even need to, to cook that, so that's easy enough. Uh, yeah, use that. There we go. Easy. And then have a drink of water. And so we take a shower. Let's take a we'll take a shower, take a nap. I would like to see. We don't need a shower yet, but I would like to see if the rain goes away if we nap. So let's sleep. And till seventeen hundred. That's no. Let's return. Let's just save the game for now. I don't need to sleep yet. Um, yeah, but let's just go ahead and get it done. That job that they're talking about. All right, let's get on out of here. And let's go find this trailer. I know it's at the house or the building that's down this road to the right. Um, so not this house that's for sale. And not the shop we checked out in the first video, but the one after it on the right. Uh, up here on the right. Uh, after this sign, I think. Is it here? Yeah, this building right here is where we need to go. And I think we're going to have to use our other lockpick for it as well. So what we're looking for is a trailer. And you can see the trailer right there. That's what we need to get. So um, I don't think you can go in the, the front door. Let's go in right here. There we go. All right. So we have the, the pick lock game yet again. And I'm getting better at it. That's much faster. Sometimes they go fast, sometimes they go slow. Yeah, we got it that time. Yep, there's the trailer. That's what we need. And we have to use this little terminal. And you guessed it. It's our favorite thing to do ever. And that's this thing. Um, you can go like that, that, that. Uh, not to you. Nope, maybe not. To you, to you, uh, to you. Uh, nope, maybe not. Maybe to that. Oh, I don't remember. We'll figure it out. I think it's this way. Maybe. Did that. Nope. Nope. We'll try again. I think I'm on the right track. I think we just have to go down further. Like, uh, no, not like that. I'm going to keep working at this. I'll get it eventually. It just takes a minute to get used to how you're supposed to do it. I think I'm on the right track. On the right track. Got Access it. Granted. Yay. All right, doors open. 
Okay, I think we opened the doors. There we go. We got our truck and we got a trailer here we need to get. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Back up to it, buddy. I think it just auto connects. Nope. Back a little further. There it goes. Yep. There we go. We got it now. Awesome. All right. To pull in right here and take it to the back where he is located, which is all the way down. I think it's this, the last one right here. This should be a spot right here. Yep, I think so. All right, let's make some money from Mr. Austin once again. Uh, yep, it's this spot right over here. But yeah, it has just rained all day, all day long. All right, I did it. How much should we get now? Oh, we're almost to $1,000 now. Job well done. Here's your payment. I'm all out of work for you now. Come by some other time. All right. Okay. There you go. So our life of crime. All right. It is uh, about 8.50 PM and we are back home right now. All our uh, gauges are about half right here, which is not a bad spot to be at. Um, we know that when we wake up, things will change up a little bit there. So let's close the curtains and turn our uh, light on use there we go check it out you can see how the lighting looks in the room looks pretty darn good honestly I, I do like the graphics of the game a lot but uh there you go anywho folks that's gonna do it for this episode of denizen let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and we will continue uh our journey in another video take care